is an original ad, 1901, for a Columbia Disc Graphophone. Notice Graphophone is phonograph backwards, phonograph. Phone means sound, O, graph, or to write, to write sound. And there is a Columbia AJ. Don't know how close I can get. And that's an original ad. And here is an original Columbia AJ. These were top wine machines competing with Victor in their top wine machines. So let me see if I can just play a little of this very old Columbia record here. That is a very old Columbia record. This right here is not a paper label that is silk screened onto this shellac record. That's all silk screened. This won't sound very good. There's the on off mechanism. I have to take that off. Let's see how this sounds. As you can see, these old records are pretty rough. Just put this back on for the presentation. So here is an old Columbia AJ. This is the first uh, attempt by Columbia to enter the disc market in 1901. This is a 1902 machine. They also had a couple of other machines in 01 that uh, entered the disc market, the AH and the AK. This is all original. Your on off is here and speed controls there. And an old horn. Somebody did polish the, the bell. And come around here. They did have as many Columbia machines they had to handle. Now there were three versions of the top wind machine. The first version, believe it or not, very few were made, but this piece here, this is the, as I just said, the start stop and the speed control actually was up on the top. The horn had a leather elbow. There was a record hole down here. And the reproducer, which is over here, actually had a, a knob to screw and unscrew the needle. To get a new needle in, you had to unscrew the old needle out, put the new needle in, and then tighten it with that uh, thumb screw. That didn't last very long because Victor Talking Machine Company had the patent on that, and they uh, were afraid of lawsuits. So. The first version, which they weren't that many, had that. And then the next version took the speed control, which was up here, and put it on the side, as it is here. They continued the leather elbow, which you don't see here, that's brass. The record hold down, which you don't see here. They continued that. And the final version, which was late 1902, they eliminated the record hold down. They eliminated the leather elbow and went with brass. And uh, they also added patent information. The other two versions did not have patent information on the front decal, as you could see there. 
There's some patent information. So uh, a lot of people think that the a these top wine AJs only had leather elbows and record hold downs. They didn't. 1902 was a very big year for phonographs as they modernized them. We got the 10 inch record from this 7 inch size. Uh, Victor was also eliminating their leather elbows and record hold downs. So if you have like an R or an E, Model E, if you have an early O2, you will have a leather elbow and a record hold down. If you have a later O2, you'll have a brass elbow and no record hold down. They were also, especially Victor, were introducing the rear mount horns. This is a front mount. The rear mount put the weight of the horn and the reproducer on the case versus the record. Now one thing you want to be careful with these is the um, this is a support arm and this is a traveling arm here. People call this a tone arm. It is not. It's a traveling arm. It travels with the horn. No tone or sound goes through this. You have to be careful of these because there's a lot of reproductions. These are aluminum, cast aluminum. And there's a lot of reproductions and the reason is they break. And people have a tendency to pick up the machine and this will break. And one way of telling a reproduction is the crispness or lack of crispness, crispness in the, t the word there, Columbia, and in the design there. See how crisp that is? And then underneath here, you'll see it's hollow. And many reproductions are not hollow. So never pick up an old phonograph other th in any way except underneath. Just pick it up from underneath. That's the best way of doing it. So these are very rare machines. In fact, it's very difficult to get them. Not many, I think they were made later 01 through 02 and possibly, possibly in 1903 for a month or a few weeks before they converted the AJ top line to on the back, on the side. And then eventually they put the, uh, it, they put it on the side here, the, the uh, crank. So a nice little top wind. Another thing you want to be careful for, well, let me see if I could get that focus. I'll go on the other side. Is this right here, many times is just a wire. The original, that's an original there. Columbia was known for their decorations. They might not have had a uh, machine the quality of Edison or Victor. They were kind of always third place in sales. But they did have nice little designs. So this is my Columbia AJ with an original 1901 or 1902 record. Again, that's not paper. That's part of this material, which is shellac. So that's just silk printed on. So I hope you enjoyed my Columbia AJ with its original 1901 magazine advertisement. Thanks for watching.